Aside from being the home of the oblation, the Quezon Hall is the frontmost building of the university from the University Avenue. It houses many of the administrative offices for the entire university. After the transfer of University of the Philippines from Padrapura, Manila to Diliman, Quezon City, four buildings were initially built, the Palma Hall, Melkor Hall, Gonzales Hall, and Quezon Hall, which was formerly called as the Administration Hall, built in 1950. For five years, the Palma Hall was the seat of the administration. The central administration was then transferred to the administration hall. During the term of President Carlos P. Garcia, the hall was refurbished and a flagpole was installed on it. It was on August 3, 1962 when a Philippine flag was first flown. After a year, it was renamed to Quezon Hall in honor of President Manuel L. Quezon. On September 26, 1984, the north wing of the hall where the office of the UP president was located was raised by fire. Because of that, Executive House was established to serve as residence for the UP presidents. Since January 1986, the hall became the seat of twin fulcrums of power, Central Administration on the north wing and UP Diliman Administration on the south wing. Because of that, it became a rally ground for students who demanded for greater subsidy and other concerns and even workers who demanded for salary increase. The Quezon Hall was designed by Juan Nakpil, our first national artist for architecture. He was recognized as a pioneer of modern Philippine architecture who has contributed immensely to the present state and form of Philippine modern architecture. The hall is buttressed by huge pillars reminiscent of neoclassical architecture. Another feature of the building is its open portico which provides a view to the amphitheater on the opposite side of the oblation complex. According to what I have learned in our architectural history class, Juan Nakpil based the Perista concept of Quezon Hall to the work of architect Ilyel Sararinen at the Cranbrook Art Museum in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. It was also neoclassic in style since it was established in the United States during the height of classic revival in the early 1900s. However, Juan Nakpil added some details to make it genuine. These neoclassic remnants were also evident in other buildings of the campus like the library or Gonzales Hall, the College of Engineering or Melkor Hall, and it's the mirror image, the College of Liberal Arts or Palma Hall. Being the main structures of the campus, these buildings possess power as shown by the grandeur of its scale and overall Hellenistic fashion. Another interesting system Juan Akpil has applied is the installment of floor glass blocks to provide natural light in the basement rooms of the building. Born on May 26, 1899, Juan Felipe Nakpil was a Filipino architect, teacher, and a community leader. In 1973, he was named as one of the National Artists for Architecture. He also served as the Dean of Filipino Architects. Juan Nakpil was one of the eight children of the Philippine Revolution veterans, Julio Nakpil and Gregoria de Jesus, who was first married to Andres Bonifacio. Juan Nakpil died in May 7, 1986, aged 86.